what is going on it is week number four full body so this is the final day of the week for me maybe your first day depends on what you choose to do this week i give you a choice you always have a choice but the way i design them i typically like them done in a certain way so today this week you get to choose this for your first or your last workout all right for the first exercise oh, i gotta do this again it's tough oh, my stomach all right um you guys are going to do alternating rotated front raises. So you're going to have your hands by your side. You're going to rotate them in the front. One, two, three, all the way to 20. That's 10 each side. Then you're going to do a reverse curl. You can do um, a reverse lunge plus curl. So you can actually take your knee and touch it all the way to the ground. The benefit of that is that it doesn't put a lot of pressure on this quad. However, the downfall of that is it's harder to get up from this side. So the first one you can do, you want to hold this. So whatever hand your, whatever leg is staying stable, this arm's going to be out for balance. You have a dumbbell in this hand. If this is too confusing, especially if you're new and you haven't done anything like this, just separate the exercises. So do alternating lunges and then bicep curls. But if you can do this stability part, works your brain, works a little bit of an extra little muscle combination here. All right. So anyways, you're going to come here. Reverse lunge, this is the first way. So you guys can see my knee is not touching the ground and I'm gonna do a bicep curl. Come up, bicep curl. The other way is to here, bicep curl, stand up. This puts more pressure on that step up. Those are called um, ground step ups. So you can do either way you want. You're gonna do 10 on each side. And then you're going to do um, jumping jacks for 20. I did, um, the jumping jacks in the second set uh, after the first exercise because I took my shoes off. All right, and then circuit number two, you're going to do a squat plus a row. You're gonna take one dumbbell, you're gonna squat down, okay? And you're gonna touch that dumbbell to the ground so it's here slanted. So you're gonna squat down, boom, touch the floor if you can, come up here so you're gonna feel that in your hamstrings, and then row, squat, row, squat, row okay Whew. it's hard you got tens you're gonna feel your glutes and your hamstrings again if that's too hard or you can't do that just do a squat for 10 and then do a bench over row for 10. um exercise number two is a side to side punch grab two dumbbells 12s here i think that's what i use and you're gonna hold them here and you're just gonna punch 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 so you get some shoulders boom I'm pivoting my leg, squeezing my glutes. One, core nice and tight. Two. Okay, for 20. And then you are doing alternating side to side lunge or alternating lateral lunge swing. So you're gonna come down to a lunge, pass the dumbbell up into a swing. Two, three. Come down lower than me if you can to get that stretch there. Okay, you're gonna do 20, that's 10 each side. Um, and then we did body twist, you can stand and do this, or you can do this for 20. Circuit number three, we're gonna take it to the floor. Whew, this one was a burner. You're gonna do a table top, table, we did these last week with the group. All right, so you're gonna come up, table, and then you're gonna come down, and you're gonna do a hollow, like a hollow rock. So you're gonna hold your body like this. One, two, two. Get some momentum, but work your abs. After that, you do a crab ankle tap for 20. That's 10 each side. One, two. If you can't do that, you're going to find an elevated surface and do 20 dips. If you can't do dips, you're going to do kickbacks. Um, and then you're going to do a bicycle ankle tap. Bike, a bike, a bicycle. That's a good exercise thing. A bike ankle tap for your abs. Whew. So you're going to come here. We're going to one. Take it here. Two. Three. Four. Okay, take your time. And you're gonna roll over and do 10 Superman holds. Okay, here. One, two, all the way to 10. Just helps balance out our back or our abs so we're not totally working this way. We're gonna balance it back out. That's it, okay, that's it. Week number four, full body. Have a great day. Love you. Give this a like. Do your sweaty check-ins. Appreciate you guys so much.